Good morning, prayer partners. Who wants some milk and cook? Dessert is on the way. Good Tuesday morning, prayer partners. Mmm, dessert. Hey, hey. Mmm, dessert. Hey, hey. Mmm, dessert. Hey, hey. The last part of our Bible plan is titled God Hunger. I love sweet things. I probably shouldn't. It's a weakness. But again, this Bible plan isn't about my hunger. It's about my appetite. It's about the things I crave. And I need to crave God. Let's read. John Piper said, If you don't feel strong desires for the manifestation of the glory of God, it is not because you have drunk deeply and are satisfied. It is because you have nibbled so long at the table of the world. Your soul is stuffed with small things and there is no room for the great. We all have a spiritual appetite as part of our makeup as human beings. In fact, this yearning for spiritual fulfillment is a constant in our daily life. The question is, where is our hunger being directed? If we are not hungry for the presence of God, the presence and purpose of God, then you can be sure you are hungry for something else. People chase after many things in response to this hunger. Financial security, career success, praise and affirmation of others, relationships, and more. But only Jesus, yes, can impart the abundance of life we crave. The more hungry for God we are, the more alive we are. The revelationist John G. Lake said, I'm sorry, the revivalist John G. Lake said that the most powerful prayer any Christian can pray, God, make me hungry for you. Again, God, make me hungry for you. We are all a product of our spiritual appetite and none of us is greater than our prayer life. There is a healthy restlessness that each of us should embrace the restlessness that longs for heaven for a deeper knowledge of god's presence the restlessness that marks us out as nothing more than pilgrims passing through this temporary place and heading for our true destination bill johnson writes never stop looking for his new thing the moment we think we have arrived, we will fail. The moment we lose the hunger to travel, to find him, the willingness to wait in line and hear him, the humility to encounter him in our package that offends us, we're in danger of missing his next rule. Wise men still travel. Stay hungry for God. Let's get into our prayer for the day, which comes from, and you can pause the video, like we have been doing this whole time, and go to, as soon as I get to the bottom of the screen, where it'll tell me what scripture this is coming from. Psalms 63, verses 1 through 11 in the Amplified Bible. If you want to say the prayer with me, I gotta scroll back up to the top, and I made the font really big so that 
these old eyes <laughs> can see it. Amen. I love this God hunger. I love putting together like food videos. Um, kind of like something I might get into a little bit more. Um, I just love the fact that I hunger to see what God's going to do next. It's always something different. Um, he just keeps giving me these ideas and blessing me to just try, you know. He's a great God. So the prayer is perfect because it just starts off talking to him. So let's pray. Oh God, you are my God. With deepest longing, I seek you. My soul, my life, my very self thirst for you. My flesh longs and sighs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have gazed upon you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips still praise you. So will I bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul, my life, my very self is satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth offers praises to you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate thoughtfully and focus on you in the night watches. For you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings, while I am always protected, I sing for joy. My soul, my life, my very self clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Yes. But those who seek my life to destroy it will be destroyed and go into the depths of the earth, into the underworld. They will be given over to the power of the sword. They will be prey for foxes. But the king will rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him, honoring the true God and acknowledging his authority and majesty, will glory for the mouths of those who speak lies will be stopped. Heavenly Father, I'm so glad you're going to stop the lying mouths. Whew, especially in this day and age of over information and over uh, cravings of, uh, of news junkies and over cravings of more news, more information, more thoughts, more facts. More, 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 more. Eat, 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 eat. Consume, 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 consume. You say that you can satisfy all of us, me and my prayer partners. We just need to taste and see how good you are. And we need to sing for joy with our lips. Majesty, the glory, your loving kindness, your righteousness, your honor, your glory. We have to stay hungry for you, God. So we pray the prayer, God, make us hungry for you. God, make us hungry for the Holy Spirit. God, make us hungry for Jesus Christ. God, make us thirst after you and, you and look and seek for you in a dry and weary land. And when we lay on our bed, clean out our minds. Clean them out of the dirty thoughts. Have you ever thought, per partner, that sometimes the dirty thoughts lead to the dirty house? The dirty mind leads to the dirty words? The dirty way we eat? leads to the, the messed up health and dirty health, if you will. Creating us clean minds, clean thoughts, clean out the dirty thoughts and the dirty habits of life, God. Purify us. Help us to have a hunger and an appetite for you, God, today. By the power of the Holy Spirit, against any power and principality that's trying to form a weapon against us. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners. Tomorrow we start a new plan. And then birthday week for my brothers coming up. So excited. I hope you all get to enjoy those. And as always, enjoy Jesus.